hello students in the previous lecture we have studied uh, we have discussed uh, the limit of a vector point function and quantity of a vector point function and compared with the limit and quantity of the scalar point function and uh, now we will discuss the that differential differentiability of a vector point function or derivative of a vector point function now suppose uh, any particle move from a to b at any time t the particle at p so the position at a point p is r vector and it is a function as the particle uh, moves from a to b is a function of time t and time is a scalar quantity so this of p let the position of uh, p is equal to op is equal to r r is a function of time this is a function of f t this is a function of rho this is a vector point function of position of point p is a vector point function let R be the position of a particle, position of a particle, position of a particle, moon particle at point P is to time. And is written as R is equal to F D F D. Beta position of the position of scalar function. T is scalar function, time is scalar function. Now at time T plus uh, delta T, the position vector of a particle is at Q. Particle at Q and is written as the R vector to delta R is equal to F vector of P to delta T. Subtract so first from second, second from uh, first from second, we get delta T vector is equal to F vector P to delta T minus F vector. And uh, now delta T is just going to divide by cos of delta T. I'm now taking limit as delta T equals 0 means we are discussing at, at any time. If delta t is equal to 0, we are finding the derivative at the point P. Limit delta t equal to 0, and delta r vector from delta t is equal to limit delta t equal to 0, f vector t to delta t minus f vector f vector p of delta t. If the right hand side exists, this exists, then it is called the derivative of the vector point function r vector is to the scale. Scalar variable t that is equal to by dr dr of t and uh, from this we can see we can write we can see that dr dt is equal to limit that table zero and dr of dt is equal to limit uh, table zero r of t of t is equal to minus r of t of t of t or we can also write as limit of t t is equal to zero then we approaches delta t equals to 0, f vector plus f of t plus delta t minus f t of delta t. So this is the differential of r plus differential of uh, uh, differential at the point p. The at the point p, both position of is equal to r of the position time. So this is the, the definition of well, first principle uh, definition in the, in the case of the uh, vector. So if we remove the vector from you know, vector from the position of the point, or we write in place of uh, r vector equal to y, so differential of y is two x would be in the case of uh, um, derivative scalar point function. If we remove a vector from the arrow from the head of this uh, push vector, will this definition will convert to the definition of the scalar point function. So we have discussed in the frequency uh, calculus first. Now, some conclusion from this: If if dr vector is t exists, then r vector is the position of the point on the path of the movement of particle is set to differentiable with respect to differential with respect to the stability. And r position of the point is set to differential to the stability. Derivative of R vector is a vector quantity. If the differential vector is this is position of a point, this is vector quantity. If you differentiate it with this to the scalar scale of uh, variable t, so this is also the vector quantity. You find the second derivative, third derivative, again you get the vector quantity. Every differentiable vector function is a continuous but conversely. Converse means every continuous function we have like differential as we discussed in the case of uh, uh, but this is a uh, scalar function.
function is given from this. We have concluded here that the function is uh, every differential function at a point is continuous, but every continuous function we have two differential in the so same 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 both will be case of vector vector function in the we can find any order of, of derivative of vector function similar to that of the scalar function and in the case of scalar vector function we get the vector quantity and in the case of scalar function we get the quantity calculus we call the scalar quantity now I will talk the derivative differential sum is some derivative differential product is where the product is dot or cross or uh, simple medication is the derivative product first one is there first second is dot dot if dot is there dot will be there if the cross is there or simple is there simple is there so first second is there there is first second first one is there there is there dot cross as well as simple addition of a vector with a scalar if in the case of uh, scalar product find the derivative of scalar product there is the first first component first other is it is and second other is it is plus third other is it is so it is the same what they do in the cross in the case of the cross vector type product same case that the first other is it is then the second other is it is and this and because we don't change the order of the element it is the first second is the third where a b c are the differential uh, or the differentiable vector one function and phi j scale scale one function of the scale now we can move them to only on two of this will be there we are taking left hand side we have to come to the differential of this time of a vector b vector is equal to differential of first vector plus the second vector let's take the left hand side choose the definition limit vector be zero a plus uh, this is equal to a vector to delta vector B vector to delta vector, A B vector is equal to delta minus A vector vector. After simplification, we got B vector delta vector to delta vector to delta. Separating the term, we will get B zero in the first, the second second. In the first, we'll give B A D T, B vector D T. So it's equal to limit vector to zero of delta of A vector to delta plus limit of A to T is zero. Delta B vector to delta is equal to Vector is to be plus b to be. Now, second is to prove that dt of a vector dot b vector is equal to dt uh, of a vector. Then the first vector, second is dot second vector dt, first vector dot 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 second uh, uh, dot vector second. So, similar, similar, you can prove for dot to that end. And first is a scalar function and second is a scalar function. Side. Again, definition in data to zero a plus del a vector dot b plus del a a plus del a minus a dot b. Definition now. Now, after symmetric simplification, we got this cancelled a vector dot del b plus b del b del a dot b del a del b del b. Del b, del b, del b now we know that as delta equals zero, delta and delta b is zero. So now delta and delta b are very small quantities, so the product is again uh, very very small means we will approach to zero. So we can get either delta equals zero or delta equals zero. So today in this case, and in case of delta a is equal to delta and delta, so b dot a dot delta. Del B of del T vector plus del A del A vector from del T plus this is zero. Limit of sum is limit of product sum is sum of the limits. So limit of this is equal to del A vector limit del T to zero of del B vector from del T is equal to B B T T. Now limit del T to zero del A vector from del T B is equal to B B T T. So you can decide similarly to four. And uh, uh, this was a simple division of a scalar vector. And now let me look for the scalar vector. Dt of this is equal to, we have got to prove. 
Sure. So the first component derivative, or uh, that is plus uh, first component. So the first component is derivative. So the second third derivative plus uh, first second derivative. So the first first second component is derivative. Third component. Now again, we can get inside. And applying the right in the state to put up in this. And here, see the state is equal to the other. Now, the function of dot product is here in the field. And using the, in the second component, using the difference component, the first component to use this, the second component to use the cross product, the derivative of cross product, substituting their value. Substituting the other is simply after simplification, we got the required. Derivative of cross product, derivative of cross product, the, the three vector can be proved in the similar way. Derivative of the cross product of the three vectors can be proved in the same way. Similar way as similar way as as the derivative of the scalar two scalar 